This year I'll be riding T.S. Jamamo at Badminton. I first sat on the horse as a catch ride at Adelaide in 2013, so really not very long. It's an amazing story how I came to have the ride on him in the first place. We just went back to Australia like we do to do some teaching and I had a phone call from our very good friend Will Enzinger who'd unfortunately broken his leg and he said, listen, could you ride this horse? My first cross country fence that I ever jumped on the horse was fence one on the four star, so that was an amazing thing. And we were very fortunate to come out of that event in first place. He's a tremendous little horse. He, he really is little. He'd be 16 hands if he stood on his tippy toes or if he got a bucket out to stand on. And he's a really unsuspecting, tiny little thoroughbred and he's all heart. When the chips are down and it's all going wrong, he tends to just dig deep and find something extra. And that's something that I think is a quality of a very good horse. Uh, because I tell you, as a five-year-old, I'm not sure that you'd buy him. He doesn't move very well. Uh, you know, he's not big and, and impressive looking in the stable. Um, but sometimes these underdogs are the ones that go on and prove us wrong, certainly at three and four star level. Of course, like everybody, I'd love to be in that rare minority of people that can say they've won badminton. Um, but whatever, I love competing there because it really is a special event. It gives you butterflies just walking into the stables there, if you ask me. It's, it's such an iconic event in our sport and it's very exciting. So I'm really looking forward to being able to go back there and compete on TS Jamaica.